I wanted to do a video on springs in MDO, the mechanism dynamics option. And I was looking for an assembly and I came across an engine that had some springs on it. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to turn this into a working mechanism for the valve train? That would involve putting in some pin connections, gear connections, cam connections, and then I'd finally be able to do the video on the springs. And I thought, hey, why not show you the setup in order to make the video? Because there's a lot of things related to Creole Parametric that I would need to do here. First step, I need to prepare this part to make it usable and seeable. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to create a part simplified rep and also create some points inside of this model. This is a very, very heavy part. So I am going to start off by turning all these different features to read only. Let me select the last feature in the model tree and then go to the operations overflow menu. Here we have read only and I'm gonna set as last read only so that way we have all these different features inside of the read only features folder hopefully that will make this a lot easier to work with because again it is so darn heavy next up let's create a part simplified rep to do that i will go to the view manager you can access that from the in graphics toolbar here i am on the simp rep tab let's click the new button you can rename it if you want. I'm just going to hit the enter key. I'm fine with using the default name. And for creating a part level simplified rep, you essentially have three different methods for doing that. You can choose which features are going to be included or excluded. You could also select which services that you want to use. But I am going to define a work region. So I will click on the command. So that took a moment to come up. You'll notice that now we have a number of different methods in order to define our work region. I'm going to use the default extrude. I'm going to create this as a regular solid feature. These are some of the different options that you had back in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier. Let me just hit the done button and then wait for the computer to come back. And now we have the dashboard for creating the extrude feature. I am being prompted to select a plane for the sketch plane. Let me select this surface. And now I am in sketch mode. The reason I'm creating a part level simplified rep is that I need to be able to see the surfaces that are going to be used to define one end of the spring. Let me go to my layers. I need to turn on one of my layers for axes. Let me select it over here and then I will choose to show this layer. Let's close the layers dialog box. Let me turn on my axis display. And I think there's another layer that I'm going to need to make visible. Let's see, let's try this one as well. Let me show this. And I'm looking to get the axes visible that go through the middle of where the valves are going to move. All right, so let's see. Let's go to our sketch view and zoom in a little bit. Let's see. I need to add to my sketch references. Let me right mouse click and hold and get to the references menu. Then I can select this axis and this axis. And let's select the top surface of the model. And let's see, I think I'm getting one that I don't really need, so let me try to get rid of it. Let me see, I think it's the datum plane called right that I don't need as a sketch reference. Let's delete that one, and then I can close. And let me go to a non-shaded mode. Let me go to no hidden line. And for my sketch, let me turn off my axis display to unclutter the screen. I am just going to sketch some lines between the intersections of my sketch references. Oops, looks like I missed it. Let me hit the undo button. Let me try that again. Let's sketch some lines. Maybe zoom in a little bit to make sure I'm getting what I want. And then over in there. And then here. And then finally close off the sketch. There we go. And that's the section of the model that I want to retain. Let me use the right mouse button 
to use the check mark to get out of sketch mode. All right, I am finally out of sketch mode again. This is really heavy. It's just really making my computer struggle. Let's see, let me rotate the model. Let me flip the side for material removal by clicking on the arrow in the graphics area. Also, I want to change the depth of the feature. So, so now let's right click on the depth drag handle, change this depth to through all. And by the way, when you have a feature that is really slow to preview on the computer screen, one thing that you can do is change from the attached preview to an unattached preview. Again, this is going to even make my computer, again, still do some kind of set of calculations that is going to lock things up for a moment. But I should have done that at the beginning, and that would have helped the computer to be a little bit faster in generating this. And so that's what you get with the unattached preview. It's not previewing the geometry. Let us hit the check mark to complete the feature. All right, let's see in here. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit. And then I can click done return out of the menu manager. Here is the new simplified rep. Let's close out of here. Now I can go back to a shading with edges display. And this is the part level simplified rep that I am going to use for creating the mechanism. Just cuts away a lot of the material and I can see where the pistons or excuse me, the valves are going to go up and down. Next, I need to create some points for defining the spring locations. The easy way to do that is with a sketch. I will sketch on, let's see, this surface and give me some sketch references let me click the sketch button excuse me it was suggesting an orientation reference plane okay i am going to add in some sketch references let me click on the references icon and i am going to grab the center or the cylinders for where the valves are going to go that's good let's remove the suggestions just so that i reduce my screen clutter Let's close out of the references dialog box. And now I am going to use the point command from the datum group. And let me just locate them right at the centers of my sketch references. All right, that's good for my points. Let's hit the check mark. Okay, let me turn on my datum point display so that we can see the points. And again, I will use that in a much later video. Now let's do the same thing on the other side for the other points. Let me select the sketch plane surface. Let me use the middle mouse button to get into sketch mode. And let's go to our references and just grab the cylinders once again. Let's delete the existing suggestions for the sketch references. Let's close the references dialog box. Once again, use the point command from the datum group. Beware, don't use the point command from the sketching group. Those, that will create points that exist only inside of the sketch. I want real actual datum points. And let's locate our points at the centers of the cylinders that we grabbed as sketch references. And let's see, that looks good. Let's hit the check mark. Okay, great. And let's rename the features in the model tree. I'll just call this points one and points two. Let's do a quick save. All right, great, let's close this window. Let me go back to my assembly window. And now to use that part level simplified rep, let me select the part. I'll grab it out of the model tree. Then from the right mouse button menu, I will go to representation and then user defined. And this lists the simplified reps inside the part. I'll click the OK button. And now you can see how it's using that part level simplified rep. It changed my style state. Let's then select the component once more. 
Let's go to model display component display style. I'll change that to no hidden line. I guess the part level simplified rep is causing it to be displayed in shaded mode. That's fine for what I need to do. Let's go to the view manager and I'm going to make this a little wider. The plus sign next to my simplified rep indicates that it's been modified. So I can right click and choose save. And I'll use the same name at, for the simplified rep. Also update the style state. Let's click OK and then close out of here. So that's the first step in setting up this assembly to be used. The next video, I will put in some of the other different connections. Probably do the pin connections and the gear pair connections. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.